Now, live from your local news source, this is ABC 27 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Alicia Richards. I'm Valerie Pritchett. An unknown man walked into the Harrisburg Public Safety Building this morning carrying a bag with multiple explosives. Police, of course, shut down the area for hours. Our Sonica Bargo was there for the whole thing. She joins us now with our top story, Sonica. Alicia, Valerie, we still don't know whether that man was involved or what the target was. He says he found that bag of explosives and then brought them to police. Officials say this situation is exactly why they need to take every threat seriously. It was a scare, but you know, thank God everybody is okay. A terrifying moment in downtown Harrisburg Tuesday morning. A man walked into the public safety building with a bag containing three pipe bombs. The equipment inside that it caused that could have caused serious injury. The man said he found the bag on Cameron Street. Right away, my people cleared the building, got the person outside got the package outside. The public safety building was evacuated along with several homes and storefronts in a two block radius of Walnut and Second Street. Police also closed the 100 block of Walnut Street and part of Second Street for about two hours. They put a barricade of cars up there in case it was real, in case that it um, went off, you know, that we can shield some of the blast. A state police bomb squad was also called in. They are taking the pipe bombs to a safe location to detonate them. The robot came out, collected them, they x-rayed them and stuff like that. Officials say this situation could have been much worse. We're just lucky this time, you know, that nothing really happened. You know, uh, we get a lot of calls, you know, about, you know, bombs and what have you, but they're usually like false. That's why every threat has to be taken seriously. Whenever there's any type of situation where the word bomb is involved, we stop what we're doing. We do not take that lightly. Harrisburg police are leading this investigation, interviewing that man to find out exactly how or if he was involved. No word yet on whether charges will be filed. And as a precaution, the Harrisburg City Council meeting tonight was postponed and officials say they will do a full sweep of that government building before letting people back in tomorrow. Live in Harrisburg, Sonica Bargo, ABC 27 News. Thank you, Sonica.